Hello everyone, this is Will. Oh boy. This is Alex. Welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. Mostly. You know, every once in a while, you know how we always say like, homebrew, right? Homebrew. Like, you know, we What's, always What like, do we mean by homebrew? Well, well, this, you know, like you couldn't make it at home. That's it's, like, a, like exactly what we mean by homebrew and we always say like i think we've always mentioned like oh like you could you could make this movie at home like maybe better right and uh That's so what this like, is. you know this is like yeah like you could make this at home probably with less money and it would be better would it be as entertaining though no that's the thing like this movie is one of those movies where it's like, it's so incredibly bad that you just make fun of it the entire time. And it's not, and it's short enough that you really don't give a shit. Like, what? you're not, yeah. you're not going to like hate this movie because it's so fucking short and so goddamn stupid that you're not going to, you're not going to pay it any mind after it's over. Okay. <laughs> you're not going to waste your time. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not like the worst movie we've ever seen because it's so short and so dumb that you just make fun of it for an hour and you're fine. You're fucking, you can go on living yeah. your life, okay? And it's just... For the, the low, low price of an episode of like a like another sitcom or yeah. something with like... like no, an not a sitcom, but like a drama series yeah. with like commercial breaks. Like an episode of Star Trek. Just an hour long episode of something. Because this movie is only a little over an hour. And this is the most homebrew shit so far on the podcast like i think this is like this the is the most quintessential homebrew, homebrew that we've seen on the podcast i have not seen a movie that has this level of incompetent incompetence and this level of just like it was clearly made by just a bunch of fucking bunch of friends. friends that wanted to make a fucking movie and had no idea how to make a fucking movie but they had an idea they had an idea in their head. Well, they watched, like, you know, like you said, you were mentioning, this is like, this is like if you go and watch those, like, 50s and 60s, like... Cheese ball, like, sci-fi. Sci-fi, like, monster movies where, like, mm. something comes from space and it, like, radioactivates, like, a... A, a, an, a creature. A, like a creature. And, and it makes it, a giant creature. Yeah. But some of those movies, they turn people into mindless zombies. So you have a little bit of that sprinkled in. Barely. Barely. There's like, there's like two scenes of a fucking zombie thing. And they, they and all... one very confusing one at the beginning. Which and they weird. also saw... They saw Dirty Harry. How would it be at the beginning if it didn't... The thing didn't crash land until after? What is with that beginning opening scene? Well, it makes no sense and none of those characters. Uh, I will tell you, if you love plot holes, go watch this movie because it is... No, no, no fucking riddled with them if you're watching this movie you did you not even think about trying to make sense of anything that happens here because it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen it never does happen and you're confused the entire time if you really think about <laughs> it like if you don't turn your brain off and just like try and think you about just it have movie, to fucking take it like it, this movie will break you if you try and think about like what is Plot. actually going on if, if you try to think about like structure and anything like that this movie will break your fucking soul this is basically like a non-plot movie this is like they had like an idea right that they wanted to make a radioactive weasel film well for this some is fucking reason. this is literally things happen that's, in the movie but that's all they did like they just had the idea and then they just went for it there's no like there's no like progressive plot or anything there's nothing here it's just fucking Weasels get radioactive fucking goo all over them. One, One. One gets weasel. radioactive goo all over it, mutates, and then starts infecting people, and this and guy stuff. wants to experiment on it. That's it. Well, it's literally things happen, the movie. Now, this mo this review might be as short as this fucking movie. Possibly. Um, maybe shorter. Because uh, there's, not, there's not a lot here. I mean, there's not, like... It's an hour and two minute long movie. Like, there's not a lot that happens. And a lot of it, for some reason, we keep running into this shit. 
there's a short ass movie and they spend and they waste your fucking time with like long takes and like fucking like awkward like just filming actors just being there on camera <laughs> for some reason. I don't I don't get this trend. I don't understand what is the main focus on like just characters doing nothing for like awkward seconds long after the take is already done. Like what what is bad the, filmmaking? What is the point of doing that in a film? That it just wastes your fucking time. Like you have no ideas, so you have to be like, "Well, we're gonna shoot him for an extra like thirty seconds, but he's not gonna be doing anything or saying anything, and it'll be really fucking awkward." That's like, <laughs> that's no. Exactly, that's what they. We've been running into that a lot lately, though, and I don't fucking understand it. I disagree, because in this movie, what we get is we get lots of weird fucking shots of people's pants and shots of people like grimacing awkwardly it's just lots of so let lots me just, of awkward shit let me, are we doing this chronologically or are we just kind of like spitballing here i think we just do it however we do it so however it basically goes basically we've already explained the plot i'm just going to explain it again okay i fucking so it, okay. it's the actual plot first so. of all the first of all the name of the movie is weasels rip my flesh yes that's stupid get that out of the way. Title. If you saw our fucking Instagram poster or Facebook post, stupid fucking poster. Like my god, it's just a guy fleeing around a bunch of fucking weasels, and that never happens in the movie. I don't no. know what that poster is because none because of that the movie, happens. We get an epic, big weasel, epic. So for no reason, the movie starts out with a murder, and we just see uh, a, uh, yeah. a, a hand covered in shaving cream reaching for a knife. And the so it's like these two girls. Now, for, first, the movie starts with narration. Oh, you're right. Of like a like, guy talking about it's like this, like really cryptic, like existential. Like, oh, you're gonna like die, and they didn't know what they were getting into. Like, and this is judgment day. They didn't day. know this was the day of their death, and blah, 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 blah. If you knew the day of judgment, what would you say? And then it's just it, garbage. It, it abrupt cuts to, like, these two girls coming home, and then, like, a hand with shaving cream shaking, reaching for a knife, and, and then, then someone dying. Someone, and then the credits. credits. So, in a nutshell, what this movie is, is... I had this fuck. It's astronauts from NASA go up to Venus to collect samples. Yes, uh, stay with me. Um, and then their spaceship, and while they're collecting samples, I guess while they're coming back, their ship goes out of control and they crash land into the ocean. And the canisters of the biohazard material wash up on shore, and our stuff found happens. And then radioactive goo gets on a weasel and stuff happens that weasel infects a guy stuff happens and stuff happens and Literally. so just that that's the basic like this that's the first 10 minutes will the stupidest thing though is the fucking when they show the goddamn space the, the fucking the the rocket ship on venus oh you mean the uh the bottle rocket with the models Yes, the bottle rocket with the two rocks that are they, on they fire. Put, they put a little like lighter fluid on. Yeah, put, like set them on fire for some reason, and then we get a. So it's like these two. It's like this. It's this model set. It's like some kid's science experiment, and then they have like these hooks. What's weird is they have this like it's, it's clearly like a, a hair clip. clip. It's a hair clip. You yeah. actually see hands fing like fingers pinching it. Yeah, they, they don't know how to set up a shot in this movie at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just like winged it. I I guarantee they just were like, "Fuck it, let's just film it." They, they you know that's what they did. They didn't take. They didn't have rehearsals. They didn't have anything. Like they just like were like, "Fuck it, we're just gonna do it." You know that's what they did. That is exactly what they did because it, it feels that way. And if it, if they did rehearse, uh, I are you kidding I would be me? Surprised? Are you fucking kidding me? They wouldn't know. Um, so yeah, we get them collecting samples, and then we have they you know, they one get of those, this like okay, so it's one of those. It's like a hedge trimmer thing, but it's one of those long ones that you pull the cord and it like kind of cuts the limb. Um, but they use that as the like sample collector. Well, because first the hair clip takes a bunch of goo, puts it in like a of like a vial. This is a children's science. Set. Yeah, it puts it in like a vial, 
and then the hedge clipper thing like picks up the vial and then takes it to the ship and then the ship the bottle rocket it takes off and then the next thing we see is like a fucking shot of like earth like the fucking swamp that they filmed it in and then we see like a it, completely different bottle, bottle rocket, rocket just flying flinging in, into the water yeah, flying into the water like someone off camera just like like grandma threw it in so after that two kids are like exploring the woods uh, this is supposed to be the ocean but it's there's no way this is even no it's the fucking woods close to the fucking and, ocean See, there's no beach in this fucking whole movie, and we're supposed to believe... <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to believe it crash-landed in the ocean, and there's zero beaches in this entire fucking movie. Here's the joke, though. It, at the end, they film it at what looks like the ocean, at the very, very, very end of the movie. Of course, at the end of the movie. But, that's but in the beginning... we're on vacation, and we're like, oh, we need some B-roll. But in the beginning, they clearly... It's like a fucking swamp. So two kids are right, like exploring, and they find these two canisters. But Can I just mention yeah. that these two fucking kids are fucking dumb? Swear like goddamn sailors. Yes. They actually have more curse words than any other character in the entire movie. Than any of the adults do. They Everything shit, is like... One of them says, fuck. One what of is that shit? What the fuck? Something bit me. Like, things like that. Because they're like... Again, logic, right? They find these canisters. It's just like it's just like a fucking flask. Well, I love it because when it washes up on shore, when we, sh we before the oh, scene with the, the kids, text. when it washes up on shore, we get a block that's covered in tinfoil and with someone sharpie wrote radioactive material, like warning radioactive material on, and it's just on the shore, the bank of this river, clearly a river yeah. or pond. But apart from that, and apparently in a completely different part of the pond. They get the two flasks that look like kitchen canisters that you'd put like flour or coffee. And they're in. like, oh, let's take it. And then they go and one of them gets bitten. And it's wait the fuck. And then like they have to go, but like the kid's like, no, well let's dump this stuff. And so he opens. Well, no, they find like a hole in the ground and they're like poking at it with a stick to see the thing that bit them. And, and then, then they're like one of the kids is like, oh let's Let's go. And I got an like, idea. He's like, I got an idea. He opens the canister and just dumps it into this fucking hole. And then we see uh, a child's dinosaur toy. Getting covered in egg yolk. In egg yolk. And then in a, in some blurry fucking shot, someone starts pouring cranberry sauce on it. Yep. And then it like mutates an eye. And then fur grows all around it. For and then no reason. Next thing we see is they're like. Oh, I love. Okay, we got to explain though too. When the fucking dinosaur is getting covered in egg yolk, it's like fucking like garbage all around it for some. Oh reason. yeah, yeah. So it's supposed like, to be like, like it's, underground, it's, right? It's like black, like it's like black, it's bags, black tissue paper or something like no, that. No, it's well, it's those black trash bags. But they're black. It's like we're supposed to be underground and you're literally going to try and convince us by using black trash bags. They couldn't even put like dirt on it. Or make it brown? No, no, no. Black. It has to be black. It looks so... It's crumpled, too. Like yeah. you, see, you see the crumples in the bags. Yes, because it's gar it's someone's garbage <laughs> <laughs> that they just dumped a bunch of egg yolk on. I mean, whatever you gotta do, I guess. But the the kids, but it starts like this mutated weasel starts coming out of the ground, and the kids like are riding away, and one of them's like, and they're riding away on the yeah. same bike, and one of them's like, oh, I gotta, I dropped the the cover for the flask, and for some reason he gets off and goes to get it back, he gets attacked, gets nommed, the kid runs over, sees the dead body, starts running away, and then the POV shot goes after him and then after, he gets nommed and then after this it's running and it's like going through the woods and we just get a random shot of a guy driving his car and he's just driving and then we just and see, then like, we this see thing. the thing like run across the street and like it like so we get like a shot of oh the God. guy like freaking out and then we see like the things like, it, like, it, like hand it, like it. booping i love his car like gently breaks Gently. and like it boops the like <laughs> the, the the monster boops the car the grill and then, like, runs off, so the guy gets out of the car, and like, apparently he hit the thing so fucking hard... He ripped the arm off. arm ripped off. But here's the thing, because he wraps it up, takes it to his house, and calls, like, his friend to look at it. And then they experiment so, on it. for some reason... Who this, is this guy? It's just a guy. We don't know. But here's we the thing. We have no idea. The guy thinks... So he, he's, like, 
explaining it to his friend, like, he, he's driving and he hits this animal, and its arm rips off, and, but he just thinks this is, like, the most mind-blowing fucking thing. Well, and then he's, like, dissecting it, like, he knows what's going on. So, he's taking it, and he rips, like, a piece of pork chop off of it, and just puts it in, like, a thing, and he thinks it's, like, the, like, what is the point? What was this supposed to be? It's a piece of pork chop. I don't know. I don't know. And then, like, the But the fucking... thing starts moving. The arm starts moving, so they go into the kitchen, like, where's the arm and everything? And, and then he's like, it's the craziest thing ever. The arm's gone. Well, and then the arm, like, attacks the one dude. He becomes possessed. So the arm somehow bites his friend. It his friend starts him. foaming shaving cream. And then as the guy's on the phone calling the cops, his friend with the shaving cream zombie mouth... Like, chokes him. Chokes and him, and then the guy throws off. up egg yolk, and he cuts his Why arm. does he throw up? I don't know, but he just, then we get like a minute long scene of our guy taking a butter knife just chopping and chopping arm his off. arm off <laughs> for no reason. I don't know. Maybe the weasel wanted revenge because he's like, you motherfucker, you took my arm and now I'm going to take your arm. And then Even but, though he's already dead. He doesn't give a fuck. No, he's just, he's just chopping it off. And my favorite part though is that the friend is like running across the yard and he like kind of bumps into like a, a, a lawn chair. And then, he like, just, angrily... He just knocks it over. I'm just like, okay. He and then runs really away, and then we never that, hear but... about this fucking thing again. Yep. Ever! It Ever! never comes back. The plot hole, like, five right now. Only thing we get is a bored out of her fucking mind news reporter being like, there's been some murders here, blah, blah, blah. Because well, remember, one of the kids, uh, another kid, finds the skull of that one kid, and oh. then... That's why the reporter's there, because they oh, nye, nye, nye. and then enter our fucking crack-ass detective that's a fucking, a fucking dirty, hairy wannabe. This is, like, the single scene that could have been effective, because it's, like, this kid walking his dog, and then the dog, like, goes loose, and then they start doing, like, a weird shot of, like, the dog following love, the like, blood. how someone's leading My the favorite part, though, is in the beginning of that scene, you see clearly... The dog's leash being held. Yes, and then but he, then halfway through they the drop the leash. Let's go, the and then he's like, "Oh let's shit!" Let's go of the leash, and then the dog finds like a body, and you see like all these like mangled up body parts on this bike. <laughs> the only problem, though, the only fucking problem, this is the only thing that like it, it could have been an okay scene, could have been an effective. Here's the reason it wasn't effective little scene, but there's a, a shot that's very close up, and you see that they have a fucking like toy skeleton like skull and they put a wig on it they put a wig that doesn't That's look like anything like the kid's hair ruins it because it's like gray hair it's like a grandma wig right yes ruined it well it's clearly a wig like yeah there's no denying that it's a wig and then we get our cop who's investigating this stuff and this oh is God. just dirty hairy wannabe any uh, for some fucking reason they made the mistake they're like hey he's gonna have to wear aviators right Let's make a mirror so you can see the camera every, every time shot. he fucking looks at, like, he looks at something. They also decided, um, you know, oh, how do we, how can we communicate to our audience that he's a badass? I got it. He's gonna be smoking a fucking cigar or whatever. All the time. Every scene. Every There's a scene, scene where he lights his fucking cigar, like, three times in a row. Yes. Literally. He just keeps lighting it over and over. So, for some reason, it doesn't show up, but he picks up his partner, and they go to the fucking where the kids are... Where are, the murders are taking place? They don't really place. say any... They don't really say where they're going. They just end up at a place. Well, no, they just mentioned, like... be the place where all the murders take place. The guy's, like... He mentions offhand that there's been, like, 15 murders here. So, they're walking around, looking around, and the fucking... For no fucking reason whatsoever... Some, a guy. Why... Why again did this guy even approach them? We'll find out. He wants them as part of his experiments, Will. Because he needs pure, pure, pure blood. Apparently his won't do. I don't I, know. I have no fucking... Dude, I... Dude, I... Don't, I told you, it, don't bother. Don't fucking try, like... I, I just... See, see uh, that, Don't try I, explaining I just, it. I thought of the movie, and I fucking, like, all my brain cells just fucking died. Okay, because this guy, he holds them up, takes their guns, and he... He tells them like go here, and then he's like, they go to this... like dig in the dirt, and then they dig in the dirt. They find this hatch, and then he's like, no, so okay, okay, so he finds a hatch, right? He opens the hatch. He opens the hatch up, and then he's like, like no, 
no, no. Hear this. He opens the hatch. Yeah. Up. But after he opens it, he says, there's a hatch. And then apparently there's another hatch. And then we see an inside of like a basement window. And they're going through, quote unquote, the hatch, which is just a, a swinging window. So apparently this big hatch opens to another hatch, which just happens to look exactly like a basement. It's great. They go up the stairs. And, and it's a house. Now they're in his laboratory. But he's like, yeah, they sit down and it's a fucking living room. Well, and he's I, like, love, I love how like, this looks like a lab or something. And it looks like just someone's fucking living room. And then he's like, and then he does a bunch of exposition. Like I got, like I, I'm doing all these experiments. And he's talking have, about how he captured the thing and how he's like, he needs pure blood because he's he wants, because eight months ago he can, the spaceship from Venus crashed here cool, and and how can he can either like ruin the world or become immortal and fucking like cure oh, before no, he, he says, mentions that though he, he said, shows them the thing right oh the yeah the weasel because which before is like this adorable little baby weasel he's like before I explain to you I would like you'll see this and you'll understand everything and he goes into the room. I just love it because this is a little adorable baby weasel. And we're supposed to believe this is a giant fucking, like, monster weasel. This Here's... is worse than Night of the Leapus, dude. Bro, can I just say, he walks into the room, right? And they, like, they look up. They look up. And then we just get a fucking shot of a fucking weasel in, like, a terrarium. A cute little weasel in a terrarium. Here's my, here's my question, though. Later on in the movie... We have a shot of the fucking fake paper mache weasel in like a fake terrarium. And it's not on the same side as they were looking. Why didn't they use that shot? I don't know. It's the same room. Because that I later could have used that shot. But for some reason It's when, a real weasel. When the real when the big brains who made this made the movie, they decided that the first shot where everyone's supposed to be stunned. We'll just insert a shot of, like, a fucking tiny little adorable thing. Yeah. And then they walk <laughs> in the room, so cute. and they're like, yeah, I get it. Well, and they're like, you need a drink after seeing that, right? And I was like, that they're like, yeah. cute little fucking weasel in the fucking direction. That little thing. Like, yeah, you need a fucking drink. I mean, I want to go pet it, but it you looks guys like, need a drink. Bro, it'd be like if you made a movie and you put a fucking literal someone's hamster in it, and then you made a scene of, like, I bet you need a drink after that terror. Like, yeah, dude. And they, they have a drink, and then he tells them, like, how he can become immortal, because... Well, so he, sa he says he can either he can either ruin the world, or so uh, cure a bunch of diseases and, be and become immortal. Like, because, those are his two yeah. options. Either destroy the world, or cure a bunch of diseases and become immortal, yeah. okay? Like, those are those are one and the That's same, it. okay? Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah, got it. Because basically... What he explains is I don't that know how he knows all this shit. Because he's been doing experiments for eight months. Sure, okay. Because essentially, every time you cut off a limb of the weasel, that limb will regrow into another weasel. And then he, he turns on a little mini TV, and we see a bunch of upside-down baking pans, right? And it's supposed to be the incubators for the fucking, like, the spawn of this weasel. He's like, weasel. look at this dome. If I unleash these this will destroy the world or I can make myself Im immortal. And then they're like, he's okay. like, enjoy your sleep. And, and then, they... cause they take a sip of the drink and he spiked it. I don't know why they would. They're being held hostage by this guy. And he also, before like... one of them's like, well, what the hell do you need us for? And then he's like, I need you for experiments. So he I can tell them everything. And I then... can mix your blood with like the weasel blood. And then they're like, there can't possibly be any bad thing in this brandy. <laughs> they fall asleep. And then he starts doing... He ties up the cop in the garage. And he starts doing experiments on the friend. He, like... For some reason, he has a random woman. And he gets blood samples from None the... None of this makes any sense. He gets blood samples from the weasel. And the woman. And the woman. And, and then puts it into puts the it guy. Into the guy. For some fucking reason. I love the shots of the syringe going in. Because it clearly... They're not stabbing anything. And they're making it look like he's, like... Pricking, like, them. My favorite thing, though is that when he's stabbing the giant weasel, the paper mache, 
for some reason, they couldn't even do us the courtesy of poking the paper mache. No, because there wasn't there wasn't the jam there to suck up in the fucking uh, syringe. Okay? So they have the paper mache, and then right behind it, they have like a bottle of jam, and he just sticks it to the jam. But it's like five feet away from the paper mache. It looks it's really, really bad. obvious. It's too obvious. And he puts it in the guy, but the fucking our hero cop, he wakes up, he lights a cigar. And then he uses it to burn his fucking hand restraints off. This is the only the only part I was kind of impressed because he, I, it looked like he was actually setting the restraints on fire. Like, I know. I can't believe they actually fucking did that. Like, they were cheaping out every single other scene. And then they used actual, like, little tiny flames to, like, light the fucking To be fair, though, fire. that is cheaping out. Because what else are they going to do? Think about it. Fair. Think about it. Okay. They had no money. They had to do it. They had to fucking light his goddamn the cloth on his arm on fire. But he escapes, grabs a knife, starts wandering around, and he ends up like finding like one of those incubators and stabs the little thing and then sets the other incubators on fire. In the meantime, well, I, lo I love every time they show the incubators because they're giant serving bowls, but they're you know, because this movie's incompetent, they use reflective, like, metallic uh, serving bowls. Mm -hmm. And every single time they show the one, you can see the camera and the tripod and the guy behind the camera very clearly. That's every scene. Yeah, and, well, and, like, every scene with the guy with the sunglasses, too. Yeah. For some reason, they just loved mirrored things. Yeah. And they didn't understand that it kind of ruins your whole fucking immersion if you can fucking see the goddamn camera guy i think well here's what i think you need to understand <laughs> they didn't, they care. didn't care they didn't fucking care i know because here's what I they know, wanted i know i care too much here's but. what they wanted is when for some reason the f there's a scene where the guy's like the fucking other cop or whatever turns into like a weird mutant and starts fighting with like the the bad scientist man and he fighting and he takes his head and, and slams it into a wall so hard and smashes like blood all it over the place smashes jelly everywhere you think the guy would be dead after that but no. nah he takes a fucking shish kebab skewer and pokes him in the head and supposedly he's dead and then he goes into the next room with the weasel hey, the sir? the formerly Cute weasel is now the actual paper mache in like Where a. Where they could have used the scene. Yeah, and he starts loading this gun with like these special bullets. And which, then the fucking which you don't ever know what it is, and he never uses them. So who fucking cares? I mean, supposedly he uses that same gun. I'm guessing in my brain he uses them later at the very end to shoot our guy in the knee. No, how did he have that? Because the weasel fucking takes his arm off with the gun. He puts it in his shirt where no, he's hiding his other hand he... Well, he had to have the gun from somewhere yeah but it came out of nowhere because the weasel literally the same eats gun. his hand with the fucking with the gun in his hand it's the same so gun how the fuck do you explain that if he do you think the we well okay what you thought you tried to explain again, the movie didn't will he didn't care so anyway he's loading the gun with these bullets the weasel breaks out of its fucking captivity and rips his arm off and rips his arm off with the gun no. Yes. It, it teleports into his ass. I don't know how, but it did. It's the same um, gun at the end. So, anyway, he, like, escapes, I guess, and our detective guy gets out. And, like, and, and the guy just, with one arm, is, like, running around, and then he gets, and then the detective gets attacked. The scene makes no sense. The detective gets attacked by the giant weasel. Yes. And then... And then the other mutant thing starts attacking the weasel. And then the other mutant thing attacks the weasel. Is it because the fucking mutant thing was his friend and knew it was his friend? Well, I have no fucking idea. Because the next scene makes no sense either because he rips the arm out of the weasel well, and like, he, kills it. He kills the weasel. And, and then, then, and then yeah. for some reason, we just get a scene, an adorable scene of a miniature just lighting on fire. I like I love this setup because like it makes no sense because it, no. it it assumes that the 
the fucking mutant. Uh, like, it's hilarious because it assumes the mutant's still kind of near the bunker, right? And yeah. He's like in a trench. In a trench. But yeah. they're not in a trench. They're on like just clear dirt. It's dirt, right? It's but like anyway, a landfill. So when they show the, this is my favorite part because when they show the miniature, they have two little adorable trees and then like one little shrub, right? And it's all these like it's like train set tree. But what what's great is they because they don't fucking. <laughs> They, the, they didn't care. The incompetence is fucking insane. They filmed this scene, and it's a wide shot, and it shows these little adorable trees, this little shrub, this little fucking miniature of the fucking mutant, and then next to it and behind it are just fucking real-life huge fucking gigantic trees. Mm -hmm. Why? Here's my question, though, because we know the answer to this one. They didn't care. Here's my question, though. Why in the ever-loving fuck does his friend spontaneously combust? Yeah, the whole thing, like, lights on fire. and then Why? Just, and the fucking little, like, tiny action figure just shakes around while it's on and fire. And that's it. And it's dead. Like, so the friend kills... The mutant friend now kills the weasel and just explodes... And then we get a movie? scene of the fucking armless guy running around, like, towards the ocean... Quote unquote, the, ocean. the ocean. It is the actual ocean at the end, which is like, well, I don't know why you didn't just film it there at the beginning, but whatever. I don't fucking know. But um, he goes to the ocean, and then he just sits there, and then our dirty, hairy man comes down. Oh my god, and fucking down. drops a quote from fucking dirty And then they, they, like, do the thing where he, like, takes out his gun, and then he, like, grimaces, and then he's just like people like you need to learn their limitations, which is from fucking... It's, a, it's direct. I don't know if it's from the first Dirty Harry. I can't remember I think it's from the second. I think it's from... Like, I'm I pretty sure it's from Magnum Force. I think it is Magnum Force. But why... You, whatever. And... Stop using good movies as references. Don't, don't, don't do, do that. It. Don't fucking do it. It's fucking horrible choice. And then they have like possibly poor, the poor worst taste. duel I've ever seen. Possibly the worst, most like badly filmed duel I've ever seen. It's literally just like it makes no sense. Like you just have to see this fucking duel. It makes no sense. Cuz they sh he just shoots the guy in the water a bunch of times and somehow some way the guy is like almost dying and then we get like a bunch of shots of him like almost submerged and he's just like eh, eh, eh. and then the next shot he's like standing and just whips out his gun. And shoots the guy. Oh, fuck. And just shoots the guy in the like the the knee. He falls down, and then he's in the water. And then we get your favorite part, where oh my God. the guy he's just standing there just raises up a gun, and then a shark him. attacks him. And the fucking the shark rips off his arm. A little like baby shark. And the guy dies. Rips his arm off. And the guy floats in water, and then the our detective walks off the fucking screen. The end. The end. Why was there a fucking shark that ripped off his arm for no reason? Where we see the hand clearly, like, just manipulating the, hand the toy. The controlling the toy shark, yeah. Because they thought it was funny? I, dude, I guarantee you they thought it was funny. They thought it was hilarious, and it's fucking... It looks dumb. It looks dumb. I guarantee you they thought it was hilarious, though. Here's my question, though. I thought he was immortal. Yeah. Why the fuck did that matter that he ripped his arm off? It didn't. Why did it matter that he got shot? Like, he's immortal. Yeah. How... Yeah. So he can take getting one arm ripped off. But Why apparently, not? when you get the second one ripped off, that's just, that's just too much. It's too much. Dude, I don't fucking know. I'm... I do like, though, that all the scenes with the one arm ripped off when he's running around... His shirt's a little, um... Oh, yeah. And it's can, a little loose in can, the front. You can see his other arm. And you can see that he's just tucking his arm in, like, by his chest. I like chest. how they put it in the front, because that's where they're shooting, and that, oh, good, they couldn't have put it, made him put his arm behind his back? Yeah, because, like, when this film from the back, it looks, it looks fine. fine. So it's like, okay, when you're filming him from the front, maybe swap them, right? Yeah. But no, there's just too much effort. Yeah. Does that mean... This whole film, they acted like it was too much effort to make this film. They and did it, though. They did it, but my god. It's a film, barely. My god. I don't even know where we watched this. It's just on a random website. 
it's I don't dude this is I mean this is a deep cut this is a deep fucking this is a deep cut homebrew this thing costs four hundred dollars that's it you that's could probably all it... make a better movie with four hundred dollars to be honest yeah way, I mean way better movie you might make a better looking paper mache weasel yeah I'm just baffled you could put on like any Halloween costume and look better than what they we got. I will say I I do uh, in some weird way. I almost respect it. It's kind of inspiring in a way because they did it. It's they, just one of those things where it's like these fucking idiots. Just a bunch of friends hanging out and filming a movie. They did it, and it's really fucking dumb. But they did make it. It's like because you can just tell like. It's just a bunch of friends made a thing. Yeah. And it feels like that. Yes. Editing, cinematography, Everything acting. Everything about this movie is just a bunch of friends hanging out and making a random ass movie. That they were just like, hey, I got my fucking dad's Super 8 camera. Let's just fucking film this shit. And, oh, you like, uh, you know, 50s sci-fi? You like things like that? Yeah, let's do it. I got some... You know, my uncle works at the butcher shop. He can give us some fucking raw meat. Yeah. I got my cousin Eddie. He's got that science project with the rockets. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. They fucking did. And they did. They did. It's admirable in a way, but maybe be a better, maybe be more passionate about your movie. I mean, maybe to them, this was passion. Maybe. I guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> Sure. Okay. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. Maybe to them this looks awesome, or maybe to them, like we keep saying, they just didn't really care and just wanted to make it. They didn't care how, they just wanted to make it. Here, here's another thing. They didn't know better. Yeah. Because they wanted they, they wanted our hero to look like a cool dude with mirrored sunglasses. Well, one of them obviously liked Dirty Harry, so... Yeah, they just put that in there. And... They like Jaws, I guess. So we had to have a, a shark yep. at the end. Rip the guy's arm off. And who cares if it makes no sense? At Let's least, have it in there. At least it's better than Savage Water. Um, This is a million times better than Savage Water. Yes, because it actually has a plot and follows through with it. Um, What, would, what the fuck did we watch last time? I'm so fucking forgetting what the fuck we watched. Oh, what was it? Fuck. Some bullshit. It was bullshit. What was it? I can't even oh, remember. God, I and mean, I gotta look it up. I know that this is better than that. <clears throat> I can't remember what it was. Oh, I, why do I forget our fucking... Because it was boring as fuck? Yeah. I can't... What the hell did we watch? I know I joked. Oh, the psych Psychotronic Man. Yeah! That bullshit! This is better. Yeah, it's better than Psychotronic Man, yes. That is true. Um, I don't know, like, I think I'd rate this, honestly, like, Shitty to Pretty, probably a th three? Is that being too generous? No. Just because of, like, sheer entertainment value, because it's fucking hilarious to, like, watch and just witness these dudes have no idea how to make a fucking movie, and they're just trying to make a movie. Because, like you said, it's, it's for entertainment value. I'm gonna lean a little higher... I'm gonna say four. It's 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 riding that line though, where, like, because it, it doesn't. It, it's not trying to be a comedy. No. Which and if it was trying to be a comedy, I would I would straight up no fucking hesitation give this piece of shit a one. But it's not trying to be a comedy, so I'll give it a four because this is funny. Like this is fucking funny. It is funny because this was. I mean, someone fucking made this for four hundred dollars. They somehow got it released, even though it's like an hour and three minutes long. And me and Will, you know what? We got boomed. We got boomed again. We got fucking boomed, and for that, for the fact that they boomed us with this insanity, and that this thing is like you can watch it somehow. Hell, you can you can fucking buy this on DVD for like twenty dollars. Why it has would, a fucking DVD. Why would you want to? I don't know. Like it, it might even have special features, which is fucking insane to me. That something like this, something that looks like something that you could have made 
for like a school project in high school. Yes. Got made and has a DVD release. Has a DVD. That's honestly that's pretty impressive. I like I don't know how that even happened because some of the movies we watch don't even have DVD releases. They don't even have it. You just have to watch it online and th this has that and I mean I don't get it. I know that this is like I know that we'll have more of this homebrew shit as like we go through the years because hey the 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 equipment required for making movies gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Yes. And I I do look forward to that. There's another part of me that knows that there's going to be a lot of shit. Another part of me looks forward to it though because hey, that's uh that's independent cinema, baby. Yep. And uh yeah, I don't know. These uh these are the lifeblood of the, our, our fucking podcast. This is the so. lifeblood of the podcast. Um b b is you know, 4 out of 10 on shitty pretty. But if you ask me, hey, how would you rate this on an actual rating? It'd be one out of ten. Yeah. This is fucking oh, yeah. bullshit. Yeah, podcast, higher higher rating. Real life? No. Yeah, no. It's fucking garbage. Like, if you show if I showed this to anybody outside of the podcast, they would straight up think this is the worst movie ever made. Like yes. with that hesitation. A lot of people would. Like if you if you think if you're one of those people who thinks that, like, The Room or Sharknado is, like, the worst movie ever made, fucking what? give this a watch. Yep. I got, I dare you. Test your fucking skill. Like, if you think that, like, well, those stupid Asylum movies are the worst movie ever made, watch this. Well, here, I'll tell you this, at least. At least those, at least this movie... Is only an hour. Like, that's the only dedication you have to put into it. No, like, I would rather watch this than the Asylum movie because, at least, number one, this isn't trying to be the worst movie ever. Yes. It's just the thing that exists. And, yes, it is only an hour long. So you're not, like, you're not too upset because you just, I mean, it's just an hour. And it's not trying to be anything other than this, this thing. It's dumb, but kind of, I guess, at the end of this episode, I'm just... It's kind of admirable. It is. It is kind of admirable. It's like, uh, you know, it's it's like, it's like a puppy that goes to the bathroom right for the first time. Yep. Instead of pooping in the house, it poops on the lawn. Yep. That's that's how I feel. It's like good job. Good job. You accomplished the most basic function. Good job. Yep. Or like uh. You know, when you have a kid and they're they're fucking a lazy piece of shit. But one day, when they're playing kickball, they hit the ball. Yep. And they don't get knocked the fuck out right away. It's like that. It's like that kind of like, you did it. You did a thing. And I, you did a good job. On our weird podcast rating, good job. Good job. But if it was anybody else watching this, I... Piece of shit. I don't know. I would love to see someone normal watching this, though. It would be hilarious just to sit someone down and be like, I, like, give this a watch. Like, someone who's like, if you ask them, like, what's the worst movie ever, and they give you, like, some, you know, generic option. Like, w watch this movie. You don't know how, how low movies can go. Yep, until you've seen this or Savage Water. Savage Water is different. Yeah, it's on a whole other level. I mean, I will say, this and Savage Water have equal level of just, like, pathetic, pathetic, of, the, of just, like, pathetic filmmaking going through it. But at least this has things happening. Yeah. I can't true. say that for Savage Water. Yep, that's fair. I don't know. So that was, uh, Weasels Tear My Flesh. Rip My Flesh. Rip My Flesh. My bad. Stupid title. Stupid poster. S stupid movie. But admirable. It's a thing. It, they did it. Good job. Good job, <laughs> filmmakers. I, if I can even call you that. If you're I not. can even say that. Um, <laughs> good job. You, uh, you, you did a thing. for an hour. If you really want to, if you can stomach it, get some alcohol, get some friends, and just make fun of this movie. Just tear it to shreds for an hour. Yeah, just go on Google, type in Weasels Rip My Flesh. Um, there's like a video link. It's like, you'll know, it's like an hour and three minutes. It's some random fucking website 
for I think it's a website for like movies that are technically like in public domain. Yep. Because I mean, you know, what the fuck how could this not be in public domain? I, yeah. Or or if you really want to, you can go ahead and splurge the twenty dollars for a DVD. Yep. Don't do that. I don't know why you would. I mean, I guess if you want to torture your friends. Yep. Admirable. Yeah. So, uh, weasels tear my flesh. Good job. Go enjoy. Get some beer and go enjoy with some friends and just fucking shred it. Just shred this thing. Just don't think about anything else in the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. That's the, it. For they mostly come out at night. This has been Will. This has been Alex. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Bye now.